Good morning. It's a beautiful morning and welcome to AM Cafe. I am Anu Akomolafe. And I remain myself, Anu Luakbo, on Mori Day. Yes, there are so many trending issues on the daily this morning, but the one that actually worried and bothered me most is this issue of Sushan Ike. I remember it happened in at UCH a couple of days ago and now at Ekunle Adashi University at Kumbakoko where the tuition fee was increased, 500% increase for tuition fee from 30,000 to 120,000. And the students actually protested, they were on the street or in Ondo State yesterday demanding for um, a change, reversal. a reversal in the whole process. And I feel, is this the way to go? Fine, education cannot be free, but 500% increase isn't that too much. <clears throat> well, uh, it's rather unfortunate. Now, um, considering the fact that the governor we have there belongs to the progressives' blog, and um, everything the progressives do today is borrowed from Awolowo, as it has been said. And if there is anything the Aoists are known for, it is free education. And so, rather than you know looking for a way to ameliorate the sufferings of the people. If you now add to it, like I, I was watching a national television, uh, one of the guys that spoke to reporters there said, my dad is a police officer on 72,000 naira salary, and we are three in that school. And so I will have to pay 120. My immediate younger brother will have to pay 120. My uh, third, uh, third born will have to pay 180,000 naira thereabout. And if you look at all this in a session, 72,000 Naira, you know, if you multiply all this money and divide it by 72,000 Naira, it can only tell you that it's not realistic. And even in a state like Oshun, where the governor has been paying half salary for a long time, what happens to those who have children that are actually attending such schools? How would they even be able to pay and give their children quality it, education? It, it's in worrisome, I, I, I must say, it's worrisome. You know, uh, political pundits will always say those who benefited from the provisions of our law, they are the ones that are going against it now. If, for whatsoever reason, if there is any reason why a particular block in the political class is called the progressives, it is because of these factors. And so when you take this away from the people, people begin to wonder, people begin to query which type of progressive are you? Uh, and, and I don't, don't, don't forget, Akedulu came in barely a year ago. And this is happening. Now, what does he want the people to think of him? What will happen by the time he celebrates his the second, second year, year in office. third year in office? And you know, we easily read minutes to... You, you know, actions. I keep wondering if the... Um, former uh, former governor of the state actually placed the tuition fee at 30,000 naira and he had so many structures in place. Really cool. How was he able to manage those structures? Because Adekre Delu might say that because he wants to fund the university better, so he has to increase the tuition. But from 30,000 to 180,000 naira, how did the former previous administration did it? How did he do it that he actually sustained it for eight years? Eight years. Well, and well, these well, are questions well, that should be well, asked. One fact that is not yet clear now, because the chairman of the governing council of the school has come out to speak, he did say, we had to, it was the last thing we had to resort to because for the past seven months, the government has not given us any subvention. Why? And so, any, any school, any institution that is not taking subvention from the, government. the state government, what do you expect? In Lautic, it was about happening. But the student there and the lecturers cried out saying, this is not possible. Now, it's another aspect we need to look at. State government should stop shying away from no. its responsibilities. No. They should borrow leave from the federal government. It is not as if the federal government is that buoyant. But if there is anything, give it to the federal government. It doesn't toy with its institutions. Well, come to think of it, yes, yeah, it's, it's understandable in you know, your state and uh, Ocean State. They are not oil producing states. Ondo State is an oil producing state. And when you think of the money they generate, you, so why won't you want to pay salaries? You, 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 you know, you, you just you just raised another point there. Apart from oil, 
I know on those states has been raking in money through B2Main. The largest other, producer of B2Main. Yeah, it's the largest producer of B2Main in the state. And so the state cannot claim to be a broke one. And even in the health sector, from zero level, they increased the fee when you want to give back to 50,000 era from true. zero level. And, that and in the same state, street. what happened to the money they are collecting I, from I the think, federation? I account? think everything, all public services and on those states, without missing words, it's as if it's about to be privatized. It's about to be privatized. Um, Governor Ruti Miyakere Dolu, this is not happening at the right time for a governor that swore an oath to protect the lives and, you know, not until when you hear of killings in places before people, you know, get killed. When you keep people mentally, morally, I think we should begin to look at all this. I want to talk about the SDG goal, Sustainable Development Goals. Education and health should be free for all. It's something that should be accessible and affordable. In a situation where people cannot access education, they cannot access quality health care, then you know there is crisis in that particular uh, state. Governor, go to before your critics who begin to say you aren't prepared for governance. I think this provides an opportunity to, you know, reverse all of these decisions. First, it was earth in that state. And this one is coming. Ike, intuition fee. This is not coming at the right time. Now, uh, parents and the students, they're not going to take it lightly, considering the fact. And Anu, if you look at it, if you check the population, of students in that school whose parents are civil servants. I tell you, they might just be infinitesimal number. Perhaps the large jumps of students there have their parents trading in petty goods and all <laughs> The funniest thing is that this is a civil service state, unlike you, by the way, you have companies. Mm -hmm. How many companies do they have? Mm -hmm. Most companies are now moribund. It's a civil service state. If they don't pay salaries, nothing works in that kind of state. Hey. And now that this is coming, where are they expecting civil servants to actually get there, this There is no right? way. I know there is no way. There are no two ways to this. On the chit chat segment, we'll turn to the newspaper headline. This Don't go anywhere.